Hello, everyone out there in the virtual CYC convention. We're here with a breakout session. I'm joined by Maddie Shipman from Dillon, Montana, and Gabe Lippi in Missoula. And we're here to talk to you a little bit about sports and faith and how can we excel in both. Uh, so thank you for participating. We know that, uh, that we're not able to meet in person, but we're still gathering together as a community of believers to share our faith and to share the good news of Jesus Christ and it is good news. So first off, can we introduce ourselves a little bit? Hi guys, I'm Madeline Shipman. I live in Dillon, Montana. I'm a junior and I go to Beaverhead County High School. I run cross country in the fall, play basketball in the winter, and run track in the spring. Hi, I am Gabe Lippi. I'm from Missoula. I'm a junior at Big Sky High School. I Hockey season just ended, but for the rest of the year, I'm doing band and choir. Great. Right on. Okay, well, today in this breakout session, we kind of wanted to talk about kind of two main things. One is that we really want to share the message that faith and sports are mutually beneficial. And I think for those of us who, who play sports, and, and personally, I played a, a lot of sports through high school, mostly baseball and, and football. Um, but really the, the values that we find that we learn through playing sports are the same things that we that we learn through participating in a faith community. And, and a lot of those are, are, are usually pretty obvious to those who play, but there's so many interconnectedness uh, and, and different uh, uh, ways that they're mutually beneficial. So things like working together as a team, uh, the idea of sacrifice, of self-sacrifice for a common good or a common goal, uh, working, delayed gratification is a huge one that, that we speak and, and teach a lot both in the faith as well as sports, right? That we make those sacrifices right now in order for a long-term goal. And, um, and so that's one of the things that we wanted to talk about today was this idea that faith and sports really go hand in hand together and can help teach us those virtues and those values uh, and those habits that are important both in the spiritual life and for excelling on the field. So the, the, the second thing that we wanted to talk about today was just provide some practical tips, uh, advice, and some real world lessons from young people about how do you live out your faith in the world today uh, and excel in sports, right? How do you, how do you, balance the demands of, of playing a, a varsity sport uh, while at the same time still practicing your face. So uh, I'm just going to, I'm just here to kind of ask questions and really Maddie and Gabe are the ones that are facilitating this conversation uh, because they're young people right now that are living, uh, living out this reality right now. So uh, Gabe, let's start with you. How have you found sports and faith to be mutually beneficial? Um, for me, especially, like building teamwork skills, like being playing a team sport has helped, especially with like bonding, getting to know people and just like going hand in hand with like helping out in the church, being on CYC board. It's just been super helpful for me. Okay. So meeting people and just being engaged in a community, right? Yeah. Yeah. How's that going for you right now with, you know, having to be isolated from your teammates and your faith community? How, how are you doing with that? Um, we've been doing some virtual youth groups with uh, Shay, which is the Missoula youth group leader. And that's been really helpful for us, especially since we're not able to go to church and just like having that time with our peers. And it's just been awesome. Yeah. Well, good. Stay, yeah, that, and that's what we're trying to do tonight is provide some sort of, of community and let young people know that you're not alone out there. And I think that's really tough, especially, uh, like I said, March Madness isn't happening, so nobody's filling out their brackets, right? So, Maddie, how, are, how, have, you seen, how have you seen faith uh, help you on the, on the playing field, or how, how, how has your participation in sports helped you in your faith life? I would agree with Gabe the fellowship aspect. Mm. You meet a lot of people and you might play them in a basketball game and then later in the year you see them at CYC convention. Also, if I'm having a rough day or a rough practice, I always just say a quick little prayer like, Mary, give me strength. Saint Sebastian, give me strength to get through this drill or whatever the case may be. 
That's beautiful. Yeah. So uh, what challenges have you, have you faced or experienced in trying to live out your faith as an athlete? I think Gabe can agree with this, having to choose between going to a competition or going to a CYC board meeting, missing a youth group, being really tired at mass Sunday morning, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Gabe, how about you? What sort of challenges have you experienced? Yeah, like for me, especially having to choose between like having hockey and youth group because we had practices on Tuesdays and well as youth group on Tuesdays and those at the same time. So that was really conflicting and then almost missing a board meeting to go to Canada with my team. So, so that was real for you, right? Like you, you chose to come to the board meeting yeah. uh, rather than going to the hockey tournament. Is that right? Yeah. Tell us a little bit more about that. How did you, why did you decide to go to the board meeting? Um, like really just like talking to my team and like, especially praying, like, God, like help me with this decision. It's like super big for me, like going to Canada, we were going to go watch this big team play and it was supposed to be like super fun. And I'm kind of sad that I missed it, but I was really happy to be able to stay home and go to the Mizzou board meeting. Yeah. Well, one of us has a dog barking in the background, and I think that's uh, that's the reality of the of where we're at right now, doing this from home. Uh, but Gabe, that that's that's such a great witness to the faith, and and I'm so glad that your that your hockey community rallied around you to say, no, this is important for you and your faith life, uh, and and you know you need to be there for that. That's awesome that you found a community that would support you in a faith like that. Uh, Maddie, how about you? Have you ever had kind of those moments where you had to choose between, you know, faith and sports? And, and what was that like? How did, you, how did you discern where God was calling you to go? I have had those moments, and I've actually missed board meetings to go to competitions. Mm -hmm. It's hard in a small town because we don't have many girls participating. So I'm, uh, when I'm on a team, I need to be there for my team. And I realized that I'm also on a team through CYC board. Um, thankfully, one time I had a cross-country meet in Livingston. Afterwards, I was all sweaty, but we got in the car and we drove to Legendary and I made it to that board meeting just fine. So sometimes I get to do both and that's really a blessing I don't have to choose. Yeah, and more and more I think it's, it's you know, all of our lives are busy and I think one of the one of the realizations that as a society we've been coming to over these last couple of weeks of the of dealing with the COVID-19 restrictions and all that is I think a lot of people have really had to do some self-reflection on what what is important to me? What am I filling my time with? Because we basically went from, you know, everybody was busy. There was always something going on to literally now there's everything's been canceled and you're supposed to be isolated. And so uh, it, it, I think that's a, a reality so many young people are facing is trying to choose between all of these good things, right? Because it's not, we're, we're not saying that, that sports versus faith, it, it's not like that. It's, it's, it's sports and faith. Um, and so how, how do we, but we can't be in two places at once. Well, most of us can't, right? Like, you know, Padre Pio was able to buy locate, but unless uh, Maddie and Gabe have figured that out yet, you know, you do have to make these choices. Um, and so, and, and that, that's real. And, that, and I think that's a, a reality that a lot of our families and our young people face. Um, and, and it's important that we communicate that to one another, right? That you're speaking with your coaches, that your coaches know that your faith is important to you. Uh, you know, and, and one thing as Catholics, the, the Sunday Eucharist, it, that's primary. That's the source and summit of our faith. And one of the beautiful things that we have in our, in our church is that no matter where you are, there's a Catholic church uh, and, and you can get to Mass right? Like it's not an excuse not to go. There's always a mass there, but sometimes it takes a little bit of extra work 
you know, to say to your coach, like, hey, uh, we're on this on this tournament and we're traveling, but I need to get to mass. How can we make that happen? And uh, and it's a beautiful thing when I see young witnesses of the faith like yourselves, when you when you communicate that and you advocate for yourselves in that realm of sports and let your coaches and your teammates know. Because I think sometimes what I have found, uh, and I'm curious to get your thoughts, what I have found is a, our, our coaches and our, and, and our teams they're ready and they want to affirm your participation in the faith. But sometimes there's this, uh, especially in kind of public schools, there can be this sort of like, they don't want to bring up the topic of religion. Um, but when a young person approaches them, it kind of gives them this relief of like, oh, I can engage in a conversation about the faith or, I, you know, the, uh, ha have you seen that where coaches or, or you know, your, your teammates are, are more than ready to kind of support you in your faith? Have, have you witnessed that yourselves? I have witnessed that. Um, my basketball coaches are actually Catholic. And if I start talking about church, my teammates will start asking questions. And if I don't know the answer, I just go over to my coach and he gets involved. It's pretty nice. That's a beautiful relationship when you can see that uh, the, the when you can share your faith with with those that you have another common love with, right? Like basketball, you know, when you have that common thing, uh, when you can also share your faith, that's really awesome. Uh, yeah, my hockey coaches are, they are also Catholic. So if I'm like ever at a hockey tournament and I have like, I have a Pope socks sacrilegious from CIC board last year and people were like oh you have like pope socks I'm like yeah so you're catholic yeah that's great clothing right is oftentimes just one of the best evangelizers wearing like a like a cross like a crucifix around your neck or you know we got these really sweet NCYC shirts this year for those who went to NCYC right and just having like like the sock religious socks um those are some really good opportunities to engage people with the faith that you can, uh, it's just kind of, it's an icebreaker, right? That it, that it opens it up for a conversation. And that's, uh, uh, that can be a really, really great way to, to share your faith. Um, okay, so what sort of, uh, let me ask you this, who has inspired you in your sports life? So, and, and Gabe, maybe we'll go to you first. Who's been, you know, is there like a, like a, you know, a world-renowned athlete, famous athlete, or maybe a, like a local coach or anyone in between? Who has inspired you most kind of in the realm of sports? Um, I have a lot of people that I do look up to, but out of all the people would probably – have to be my gym teacher because she coaches our U19 varsity team and she's like constantly like on the road with them and then coming back to school the next day and then like having to deal with us and she's just like super amazing and like really nice about it and she is also a Christian which makes it super cool her keeping the faith and then like doing all these things on the side. I, I don't know what what sort of virtues do you see her demonstrating like you say that you know she's involved in her faith what what sort of things does she do that that uh, that you that inspire you um patience definitely because she is coaching freshman gym class which honestly for me is like props to her because that's like a difficult thing to do and she's able to like do that still have time to pray I have gone in at lunch and prayed with her at times that I've been having a hard time or if I need to talk to someone, she's always been there for me. That's awesome that you have someone at the school that you know you could go in and pray with. That's a, that's a beautiful relationship. That's, that's awesome. How about you, Maddie? Who's inspired you most kind of in the world of, of sports that inspires you to be a better athlete? Um, my coaches as well. And I also recently found out that Kobe Bryant was Catholic, so that's kind of a cool connection. But yeah, my coaches are all very supportive. Yeah, and, and the Kobe Bryant, I mean, just a, a real tragic story, right? You know, he had such an incredible basketball career, but just a, 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 a lot of 
a potential for just a, a great life to continue on that was just cut tragically so short. Um, and uh, maybe moving on, who's, so let me ask you this, and maybe it's the same people, but who has inspired you most in your, in your faith life? And maybe it's, maybe it's the same person who inspires you in your, uh, in your kind of athletic life, if you will, but who's been most inspirational in your faith life? And Maddie, I guess we'll, we'll start with you this time. Um, for me, it's my older brother, Ray. Some of you guys may know Ray Shipman. He definitely has inspired me the most in my faith life. So tell me more. What has he done that's, uh, that's inspired you? Ray is always encouraging, and he knows almost every answer to all my questions. Whenever I have a question, I just call him up or send him a quick text. He's very busy, but he always gets back to me, so he's a good brother. <laughs> well, shout out to Ray Shipman then for keeping the faith alive. That's awesome. How about you, Gabe? Who has inspired you in your faith? Um, probably my grandma, because she, being my uh, confirmation sponsor, she has helped me through a lot in growing in the faith. And like, if I have a question for her, I can like go up to her house or something and just be like, hey, I have a question about like this gospel or what we're doing at church this weekend. And she's just like always on top of it with her faith and helping me grow as a person. That's awesome. So um, let's maybe kind of move on to some of the um, kind of practical, let's, you know, get, let's, let's get real here. Uh, give us some practical tips. You know, what sort of advice would you give to your peers who might be struggling with, you know, having to choose between a, an athletic event or a faith event, uh, or just how do you live out your faith in the locker room, right, or on the court? Uh, some tips would be pray about it. If you know something's coming up, take a week, pray about it. Um, for example, missing or having to choose between an event or going to youth group. So pray about it. Also, if you're having a hard time, think about the people who are struggling more than you. That's always very humbling. And just say a quick prayer under your breath. In the locker room, just always try and be Christian-like. What would Jesus do? Try and be as virtuous as you can. Yeah, I'd pray about it, obviously, right? Like prayer is central to the Christian life. Uh, and when we're faced with those difficult decisions, I really like what you said about uh, trying to trying to keep this decision in perspective, right? Like oftentimes when we when we think of our of our own struggles, of our own crosses that we have to bear they can look so big and we stay focused on ourselves. But when we try to look at the sort of crosses that other people are trying to, trying to carry, right, we can, we, it puts it into perspective a little bit. You know, it's, oh, I'm trying to choose between this practice and going to my youth ministry night. This other person's trying to choose between going to their grandmother's funeral or going to, you know, a soccer tournament. Right or or even those beyond sports. There's so many so many struggles that there that's that's out there in the world. And sometimes just doing a little bit of perspective check can kind of put us into reality. And and it, and I th and I found that too in my own life that putting my own you know decisions into perspective, whatever people are dealing with, can really uh, ease my mind a little bit about some of those decisions. That's great advice, Maddie. Thanks. Gabe, how about you? What sort of what sort of practical tips have you used to to live out your Christian faith in the locker room or you know on the on the in the ice arena? Um, like Maddie said, definitely pray about it because I have had to pray about a lot of things like skipping youth group or not going to a tournament to be at CYC and having like that connection with like either your coaches or your teammates being able to, to like talk to them about it as well. And usually for me, I'll say like, before I go play a game, I'll say like a quick prayer, like help my team. So like we don't get injured. Like it's just nice to have like that connection with people and be able to say a prayer. And you guys have a, have a particular favorite saint or, or someone that you, or a prayer that you say. I always go to Mother Mary, 
And uh, how can you go wrong, right? Just go straight to Mary. There you go. <laughs> uh, this cross country season during practices, I would pray a rosary while I was running. Mm. And then how fast I was saying the rosary depended on my pace. So that kind of was motivation. If I needed to go faster, I'd just pray a little faster. Um, before going to competitions, I always pray for safe travels. I pray that everybody is injury free, but I always pray for the best of luck for my team to win. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing wrong with praying for victory, right? <laughs> Especially once you've prayed for keeping everyone safe. Yep. <laughs> How about you, Gabe? Do you have any particular favorite prayers or saints that you like to go to? Um, for me, just like saying a quick Hail Mary, like whenever I feel down or like when we're going to a game, and as Maddie said, like safe travels to all the teams that are going to like whatever tournament. Just like living in Montana, not this winter, but like having icy roads and all that just kind of like is super bad for not just us, but the other teams. Uh, what do you miss most about sports right now? Probably being with my teammates. Cause like we've always had like a really good friendship, like between me and my teammates, coaches, band, choir, all these things, just being quarantined. It just, it just really like takes a toll. For me, we were, I was at the state basketball tournament when our coach called us into the same hotel room and he told us the bad news that we weren't going to be competing tomorrow, being Saturday. Um, and we had won Friday. We were ready for two games on Saturday to hopefully take third place at the state tournament. Um, and I just felt bad for the seniors. Everybody was crying it was a bonding moment but now I would be at track practice and honestly I miss the hard workouts I I miss track I miss basketball and seeing my friends seeing my teammates yeah oh that's heartbreaking my you know sincerely my prayers go out to, to all of our young people who had to experience that you know, and, and, and so often we tell ourselves, you know, there's next season, you know, there's always next year, there's always, you know, that next thing. And, and it, it was just a, a real heartbreaking thing for all of us that, that we're continuing to experience, uh, you know, things are continuing to get canceled, like our CYC convention, right? Um, but I, like Maddie said, especially for those seniors, my heart really goes out to you um, because there's not a next year, there's not a next season for you. And it just, you know, can feel like that was just the rug swept out from underneath you, but know that this too shall pass. Our job is to remain hopeful, to remain faithful, and know that you are loved. Know that God only permits this because a greater good will come out of it. Uh, and so just hang in there, know that we're praying for you, know that there will be more times, and, uh, and, and, and you can still excel as an athlete and achieve that victory, but ultimately, we're, we're working for the, the victory of heaven, right? That's what, that's what we're all about. Uh, and that's a good message. That's, the, that's a message that we're hoping to share tonight. And we're so grateful for all of you who participated in this. Um, we're going to wrap up here um, with a quick prayer that Maddie's going to lead us in. But just know that, uh, know that we have, uh, we're praying for you. Know that we can't wait to see you in, in, in real competition out there in the field. Um, but we also are really looking forward to just seeing everyone together in person. So, um, Maddie, would you close us in a prayer? The, and, and this is a, a prayer to St. Sebastian. And for those of you who don't know, uh, St. Sebastian is a, the patron of athletes. And he's got an incredible story uh, that, you know, Google it. There's plenty of resources out there. Um, but uh, we'll end with this prayer. And uh, just thank you all for participating in this. And I, and I hope you learned a little bit about uh, some practical tips about how to keep your faith uh, while excelling as an athlete. Uh, and I also hope you heard the message that sports and faith are really 
they're complementary, and the things that we learn in one can help us excel in the other. Uh, and so go out there and be the best athlete you can and be the best Christian that you can in all the circumstances and know that we were praying for you as a diocese uh, and we, we expect great things from you both on the field and in your life as Christians. So Maddie, would you close us in a prayer, please? Yes, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Commander at the Roman Emperor's Court, you chose to be also a soldier of Christ and dare to spread faith in the King of Kings, for which you were condemned to die. Your body, however, proved athletically strong and the executing arrows extremely weak. So another means to kill you was chosen, and you gave your life to the Lord. May athletes be always as strong in their faith as their patron saint so clearly has been. Amen. 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 All right. Thanks. God bless everybody.